Hey guys and welcome back to part hey guys, 10 of back to part Auto 9 Game, I Exodus believe of Auto World Dogs 5 Exodus, Exodus and in the last part um, we World Dogs 5, 9, 3, just um, started our way into the bone the last part um, we completed we don't, we've, we've the slig bar through and completing the slig bar we're here we've just done a secret level just under there my friends are here just while they eat off screen eat off screen and now we'll just finish oh, yes. this level off it's basically more difficult um, he says then you've got slogs coming up. And this is why you have to... This is why you grab... The rocks before you do this. <laughs> so you're not just left with... There we go. One. I uh, should have done that. There's more there if you need some, so it's not too bad. Leave her. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Yes, be careful these guys because they're all blind. You have to be very careful to get these guys killed in this bit. I think, yeah, it works the same way as the last one, where if the Mudokans are walking across without you, then they won't be seen. It's always nice to throw, if they're all, if you have to throw it in the same room that you're in, it's always nice just to make sure you throw sort of one too many or two too many or whatever. Well, it's not that you die, so... <laughs> I remember first time I did this, I didn't get all three of them, and I still had a bomb from the last level, and I was trying to clear that area was just doing mine. Never a fun thing to do. Anyway, here we go. Last, and there's slugs the only creatures uh, as the a last level, and then you've got, I think, in this final part to do, a game that you can't possess. Actually, hang on, I'll check that area. As far as I'm aware, slugs, well, slugs and uh, smilers. The creatures, doing the creatures you can't possess because uh, there's no real need to, to be honest. It'd be pretty pointless if you did. And off to the bone works. Oh no! Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I'll let, the trans I'll let these transition movies just run. Now I'm gonna die. Yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Well, no. There's no point really skipping them. They're not saving that much time. Can I make this jump? You'll need to get used to this. <laughs> The yeah, screen shaking one. because of fallen rocks. It's just gonna happen a lot. <laughs> and I didn't press X. Once again, my inability to move my fingers across the keyboard fast enough causes me to die. It's that egg guy! First rupture palm! 
Now, Necromines! There ain't no bones anywhere! No bones, no bones! I am totally screwed! My career is over! <laughs> and it's no, all me. that blue bastard fault! Brought to you by Scrap Games. They'll cost you an arm and a leg. There we go. Yep, he's gonna shoot him. Oh, oh, he did die. <laughs> but he didn't die there for a second. I see, did I need him up there? Get rid of him. I could have doubled him up there, but. Yeah, it doesn't matter at the minute. Um. Alright. Oh, wrong button. Let's see if we can't do this. And one, two, three. Three to go. Let's bring them back three to a It's not going to happen. You didn't see me. You did see me. That's going to kill me, surely. No. Oh, you're kidding. Oh. That's what that is. Before we go along here, we'll go back up this bit. There's a wee door here. And the last three escape. Oh, of course, what am I doing? And I'm not messing up this needle. I'm just taking Oh crap. Back out here. <laughs> Pull the paper and up here. Oh, Bob. There's a lot of sneaking in this one, though. <laughs> and again, that's loud in my head. Oh, yeah. I remember this bit. I always like the music for these oh. I didn't see the button there. You entered the headquarters <laughs> of, of General Terrific. Only General Terrific can partially disarm the mean gate of Soul Serum Brewery by speaking into the Glutton Security Voice Lock. Possession of General Terrific is against regulation. Terminating General Terrific while he is possessed of run. Prior to disarming the mean gate is against regulations and is punishable by death and dishonorable discharge. <laughs> there's your security phone. Oh no. And there's General Terrific. <laughs> I stand there to myself going, I wonder what that beaver does. <laughs> Didn't no, even no. run. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get rid of these guys though, just because I can't get away so it's fun. No. Whatever you call them. Just those ones, they can operate. Um, Three to run, there you go. I know uh, it doesn't make sense there, but not. They can only really operate the lever once. I meant non responsive keys. I don't know about the other guy though, so. Gonna have to do. Can I just need to this guy? I don't think I can. No. I'm not gonna be able to do this, am I? I 
notice sometimes he has a glitch where he walks off the edge. No. There's a glitch sometimes where he does actually walk straight off the edge right, and he's going to worry about him. But didn't happen this time. I had to stop in that exact spot. Had he taken a step further, I would have hung onto the other edge. Had he step taken a step shorter, I would have stopped. No. You can't shoot me. Can that time? Come on, that's not done. No, you didn't see anything. Well, that's a uh, fun little anything. secret that. Well, I found the catch with me. Quite annoying, actually. <laughs> You don't even know. I'm not gonna be able to show up here. I do know. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna make a step here. Yep. One step. Baby steps. One at a time. And up we go. Although some of the slogs have like a. And in this bit. I'm trying to explain it. It's basically once you get these guys at a certain point in the screen, it automatically sets them off. So oh, regardless of whether <laughs> there's enemies that are... Oh, and yeah, slugs or whatever. Uh, I never like these guys. Hey. Wait, no, I think they're called Smilers. For obvious reason. Really not just because of the, well, I wouldn't say unpredictable lasers, but it's because they have such an obscure path that they follow. It's awkward to try and get away with or to get around them. Now, with General Drippic, if he dies before the gas is, before you get to the security phone, oh, um, the gas will be set off, and that's five, a five-second timer. So you have five seconds to do anything, and you can't really, so you end up dying. And it's the same with all of the Gluckins from this point onwards. Simple voice commands. No. There we go, two stickers from this level. Let's stop seeing up and all up. Yeah, so, there you go. Yeah, I thought that would wake me up. Oi. Not me, you idiot! <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so this is what happens when the gas sets off. Fall down, is it? There you go. <laughs> Can't get over the hill. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> Your ass back over here. Die. Oh, 
course, is more lethal. No, oh, wow! I didn't realize the space, the spacing on them. No, oh, yeah. I was about to say he didn't sound like he died there, but he did. And as you might have guessed, setting off the lasers wakes him up. And then I think there's one on the other, the guy on the other side as well. No, that's one minute and disappear. I wouldn't advise it. I think the spacing's actually off on that screen a little. Um, with the uh, mine, like the position of them, because you do seem to be now if you play in the offense compared to what you usually are, because they eventually get too close and blow you up, so just be careful of that. And then last one. That's that bit done. I like these cutscenes, you know, they're funny. Oh no, I caught him just as he got to the edge of the screen. Kaboom! Right, too many times I've just gotten... oh no. Too many times I've forgotten that these guys are actually still here. And I've actually got myself uh, killed go. through it. Like that. Well done. And there's no need to actually go back there. I just want to make sure the door does lead to the background. Yes, it does. And you can't just step off the end of the road run. there. Because, well, so the only time you need to go there is because the slate here like dies at the same time. Come on. Well, we don't try. There you go. Oh, okay. You don't know nothing. <laughs> you don't know that your boss is dead either. Yeah, this one as well. I think the mines are slightly off. Not bad. No. I like these random bits. They kind of threw these in because I think they got to like I don't know, about 280 something, and then they decided that they wanted to make it up to 300. So they stuck in random transition stages where there's about between eight and ten, or between six and ten. The darkens in certain areas that just like need to be saved for no random reason other than to make up numbers. So with that done, we are now in are back in the Fico depot, and next stop is the Bone Works. But every time you come back here, it resets everything. So you have to go through this stage over and over again a few times. Can get a bit tedious to, like in the later stages, but that's not too bad. Like the individual levels are long enough so that you're not doing this like too often. Oh, I missed one. As you consider, now going to the boom works. I'm gonna have to get rid of that guy again. I'll just jump across that mine. I'll leave it for now. No, no, don't get stuck. And up here. And along here. And then we kill him. You don't know nothing. Boneworks is kind of fun. There's one really annoying that, like, the last bit is a lot more difficult than that one. Like, I mean, a lot more difficult. But you'll see what I mean whenever I get to it. Uncle Aslick's tourist tip number five Visit Boneworks where the magic begins. Employee of the week. Hmm. Alright then. Oh, yes. Um. What are you shooting? What? Oh. 
Well, that uh, wasn't very nice. <laughs> Stand back here then. Oh, you fucking you dog. Yeah, go on, go on. There you go. Probably should have been faster at that. I'm not gonna lie. That okay, finishes that rock far too fast. I'm free. And I've still got a bit of time. Forget about you as well. Oh dear. Right, as you can see here, the leaves are in, on the top correspond with the colored flap or colored barriers, but the buttons on the ground correspond with different barriers. So it does get quite annoying, but there's not much we can do about it. I shouldn't have done that. Can I? No. Yes, I messed that up. Messed that up big time. I know what I'll do. As long as the Madoc can sit and still, the slog won't attack them. However, the second the, the Madoc starts, starts to move, that's whenever... The, the, that's when he does, sorry. And then the dog's following through now. That should still be blocked, yes it is. Nice. Wonder what they done to draw this straw. Not a short star even on this one. So what am I doing today, sir? Well, you're walking back and forth on these three tiles. No. <laughs> oh, come on, I. That's what I get for slagging them off. I'm gonna have to wait for these two to line up. Oh, no, don't turn that way. Oh, 
There we go. Another quick check of the time. Should have five minutes left of this. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> I let go of access on the other screen. So I just ran and stopped in the middle. This is why we quick save after we do the mission. Now the problem with those rocks is when you throw them initially, they will land so that you can retrieve them again. They're not like the or well, I think they're bones actually. So it's not like the rocks where you know when they land they just fall off the edge. You can retrieve these again. The only problem is they don't always, or they can sometimes disappear. So I think that's it for today. Actually, I'll leave it as it is. So I shall see you next time. See you then.